Well, my story was I was uh, this happened on the Joker's cruise, the Impractical Joker's cruise. Somehow I forgot about this because we were going to the Bahamas on the cruise. Yes. And I'm sitting in the room with Sarah. We're just babbling about whatever the fuck bullshit. <clears throat> and I go, you know, my parents went to the Bahamas because they went on a they got a trip to the Bahamas. They traded my go kart for a trip to the Bahamas. Woo! And that Sarah, sounds like made up. And Sarah's like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, I want a go kart." It's one of these things where you start telling it, and then people are like, "What the fuck?" I want to go. When I was a kid, my picture was in the paper. Someone could probably find this. It was probably the Brockton Enterprise or the Patriot Ledger or something. <laughs> it was like a place called Stone's Video in Abington. Uh, it was like a, re- uh-huh. a movie rental place. Uh huh. And they sold booze and, and like a bodega type of thing, but they had movie rental. Yeah. And they had a big go kart, and it said, like, put your name in to what? win this go kart. And I was like eight years old, and I was like, hey, maybe we could win a go kart. So I filled out my name with a little pencil, put it in there. Like a week later, we get a call. I won the go kart. Get out of here, fatty. The only thing I've ever won in my entire life. Oh my lord! That what, for a kid, that's like winning a mansion. Oh, or, it was insane! Or a horse. I was yeah. jumping up and down like fucking, uh, you know, Buster Douglas. Sure, it was like, it was like Rocky won. <laughs> I got a go kart, and we had the go kart. They got it to us. We went and got it. We took a photo. It's me and my dad. We have like winter coats on. Maybe my whole family. I and can't believe what I'm hearing. We're in the paper. It's like a black and white photo. Oh, my. We got to find this photo. Call in if you've seen this. Yeah, we look like McFly and Doc Brown in 1885. It was like We got to go to a library and do that that slidey thing. And, you know, where you turn it and it's, we got to look for it. Yes. And then some guy walks in and you're the you're looking at his rape charge and you're like, whoa, and see so you scroll. <laughs> but he saw it and then he kills you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, we were in the paper, and then I remember having it in my neighborhood, and I, I rode it around the neighborhood, and everyone, what? the whole neighborhood lined up, and I was like, I'll give you a ride. And people oh would get Lord. in. I took old Mike Reynolds for a ride, and Jim Cranshaw, and Jim O'Sullivan, and Rory Burrows. Oh, my Lord. So what and happened? I was, I was the king of the neighborhood for like two days. People yes. were like jumping up and down, and like, can I borrow it on New Year's Eve? Can oh. I take it on Easter Sunday? And I was like, we'll see. Wow, and you got the key to the city. For the first time, I felt like I belonged. Yes. I had you're in. something. You're Illuminati. And then my parents sat me down like a few days later, and they're Uh-oh. like, unfortunately, we can't keep the go-kart right now. And I can't remember why, but when Safety. you're a kid, you just accept anything. Sure. You just go, okay. Like they said it like it was a baby. We had to abort it. Oh, my Lord. They were like, we got it. We can't keep the uh, go-kart. And Ironically, happened, you need a ride to the abortion. In a go kart, that'd be fun to show up at an abortion clinic in a go kart. Oh yeah, then they're like, yeah, yeah, you got to do it. Yeah, this one's on us. Yeah, <laughs> um, but they ended up trading it to my uncle Bobby. Somehow he had a trip to the Bahamas that he had won. I don't. This is where it gets fuzzy. But they ended up going to the Bahamas, and first they presented it as we're gonna go to the Bahamas instead, and I was like, sweet. And they were like, yeah. no, no, just us. Ah, uh-huh. I thought I was going to the Bahamas. You should go. It's your cart. I didn't get to go. They went. My parents went on a vacation for the Bahamas that they received through the go kart. Why did Bobby want the cart? He was an adult. Because I think he couldn't afford because it was like a plane ticket and hotel maybe, or maybe it was just the airfare. Ah. Uh. And he was like, he didn't want to go. He didn't have a girlfriend or whatever. I don't know how he had the trip. I got to talk to my parents. We got to call Bobby. Uh, well, he might be dead. I don't know. It's actually my uncle, my uncle's brother, but he was around because he dated my aunt. It's a whole thing. All right. But he was one of those guys you just call your uncle. Yeah. But my right, uncle's right brother slash aunt's girlfriend at the time or boyfriend either way Um, sounds shady yeah yeah the whole thing is shady but they went to the bahamas and my i'm telling the story to my wife she starts crying (laughs) she's like what she's like this changes our whole relationship she's like i have so much insight into why you're afraid of losing everything and why you're always afraid you're gonna die and i'm so paranoid i'm like i have a gig but it probably won't happen the tonight show i'm like when i did letterman i was like until it airs it probably won't happen right They'll take it away from me. Yes, because like as a young kid, I couldn't wait to go to Allen. I was like, I can't wait to get in there. And I hit him with this. And he's like, this is all coming back. This makes sense. And he What did he me. say? He was like, this is this is the defining moment. This is it. I mean, wow. this is right here. You have no trust. You have no uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Think about how confident and and secure you would be if you had grown up with a go kart. You'd have people fawning over you. You'd be a little celebrity. You're in the paper. You're you're, you're you'd be a different guy. You wouldn't have glasses. You'd have, have good teeth. It changed. <laughs> it changed my life. And we kept the photo on the fridge. Like people oh! would come over the house and be like, "What's the go kart?" And I was like, ah, "I want it," but I traded it. And I remember feeling like. I, that's what I was supposed to do. I was like, we had to trade it for the Bahamas. And no one ever told me, like, hey, this is fucked up. Like, your parents fucked you. They fucked you. I got to confront them, but I'm scared because they might get corona and die. And I don't want it to be the last conversation. That's true. But, you know, what the beauty is you're a, you're a 39-year-old guy. Go, You can go buy a go-kart. You 38, made it. 38, for God's sakes. 38. I turned 38 yesterday. Happy is birthday. Right? Yeah, 38, yeah. Wow. Any tits. But, Wait, uh, did, yesterday? Well, by the time this airs, for the people, for you, uh, it's on Monday. But for the geez, people, it was scared yesterday. Me. Jesus, I well, got what are you gonna do? Come over? <laughs> you gonna jump out of a cake? Yeah, I got a whole plan. People keep asking me, like, "What are you gonna do for your birthday?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> well, have a party, six feet. I might eat egos and uh, or whatever you call them, Legos, and uh, maybe I'll ship you a waffle. Send me a waffle. I'll send you a waff. All right, send me something. I just pray that Waverly survives this. Don't you pray for Waverly? The I do. I walk places. by it all the time. I I think they're hanging in there. It's nothing but immigrants. They, they're they like cockroaches. They don't die. Oh, boy. All right, so hit me with this get this. Oh, well, this go-kart thing has changed my worldview of you, Fatty. I don't know what to think. And, and what do I think of your parents now? Every time I see them, I'm going to just... Just see the Bahamas and your dad in a Hawaiian chair. I'm going to kick him in the balls. That's what my wife said. She's like, honestly, she's like, this changes the way I look at your parents. And then she was also like, if they watched that in a movie, she's like, if I saw that in a movie, I would cry. The whole theater yes. would cry. Yes. If there was an eight-year-old kid that won a go-kart and his parents gave it away and then went on vacation. This is bananas, yeah. And and how could they even enjoy the, the sunset and the beach over there? The whole time I'd see one kid on a go-kart, I'd jump in the ocean. Yeah, they, guilt. They had a great time, and they were probably younger than I am now at the time. Oh, selfish people. Uh, what can you do? How long did you have the cart with you total? It's all a little foggy, but I think a couple days, maybe a week. I got to find that because I can picture the photo in my head. It was, I think it was the Brockton Enterprise or the Patriot Ledger. Look I'd it love up, to people. read the article. Yeah, same. Um, but yeah, I want to see you as a happy kid. I've never seen you happy. It was a sizable photo too. It was like a quarter of the thing. It was like <laughs> fucking the Central Park Five. They took out a whole page. Right, right. Wow, Jesus. Well, your mom's the one who should. Your parents. They're the they're the Whitman too. What? They're they're, they're the criminals. They're the Whitman oh, too. Your parents. I see. I was thinking T O O. I was confused. Oh no, sorry. T W O. I got um, you. Great airline. All right. 